Hello everyone. I'm Sonali Kanode, Assistant Professor of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science Department of ASMS IOIT, Pune. Now, today we are going to discuss about the uh, Linux operating system. First of all, what is Linux? The Linux operating system is a type of operating system similar to the Unix, Windows, etc. And it is built upon the Linux kernel. The Linux kernel is like the brain of the operating system because it manages uh, how the computer interacts with the hardware and resources. It makes sure um, everything works smoothly and uh, efficiently. But the Linux kernel alone uh, is not enough to make a complete operating system. To create a full and functional system, the Linux kernel is combined with a collection of software package and utilities, which are together called Linux distribution. These distributions make the Linux operating system ready to you, uh, ready for users to run their application and perform uh, tasks on their computers securely and effectively. Linux distributions come in different flavors, each uh, tailored to suit the specific need and uh, preference of users. So, the Linux is powerful and flexible family of operating systems that are free to use and share. It was created by a person named Linus Torvalds in 1991. What's cool is that anyone can see how the system works because its source code is open for everyone to explore and modify. This uh, opener uh opens uh, encourage people from all over the world to work together and make linux better and better since its beginning linux has grown into a stable and safe uh, safe system using uh, many different things like computers smartphones and big supercomputers it is also known as to being efficient many it can do a lot of tasks quickly and it's also cost effective which means it doesn't cost a lot, uh, lot to use. A lot of people love Linux and they are part of big community where they share idea and help each other out. As technology keeps moving forward, Linux will keep evolving and start uh, staying important in the world of computers. So these are the goals of Linux operating system. Uh, Linux as an operating system encompasses uh, several goals and principles that guides its development and uses. Uh, some of the key goals of Linux as an operating system includes open source. Uh, first one is the open source philosophy. Next is the stability uh, and reliability. Third one is the performance and efficiency. Uh, fifth is the security. Uh, sorry, fourth is the security. Fifth is the customizability and flexibility. Sixth is compatibility and interoperability. Seventh is the community and collaboration. These are the uh, goals of operating system, Linux operating system. Uh, so next is the interfaces to Linux. Uh, in the context of operating system, interfaces to Linux can refer to various ways in which software interacts with the Linux kernel to uh, or utilizes Linux based functionality. Here are some common interfaces to Linux in operating system. Uh, system first one is the system call and uh, system call. Uh, system call provide a low level interfaces between user space application and the Linux kernel. They allow application to request service from the kernel such as file operating uh, operations, process management, network, uh, network communication, uh, and memory management. For example, of uh, system call uh, includes uh, open function, read function, write function, poke function, execute, ex, ec function, and socket function. Next one is the file system interface. Linux supports various file system types. Uh, An operating system open uh, often provide interfaces for interacting with this file system. This includes standard file system operations such as uh, reading and writing files, creating directories, 
then listing direct uh, listing uh, directory contains setting file permission and query uh, query file attributes. Common file system interfaces in Linux based operating system includes uh, POSIX APIs like open uh, function, read function, write function, start, and MKDI that is make directory function. Then next is the device interfaces. Linux exposes device interfaces to interact with hardware devices, including these drives, network interfaces, USB devices, and peripherals. So devices in uh, device interfaces allow the application to uh, perform their device specific operations such as reading from and writing to device file. Uh, so or uh, configuring devices setting and handling device interface. Next is the uh, network interfaces in that uh, Linux provide network interface for communication over network, including TCP IP, networking protocols, operating system offers APIs and libraries uh, for network programming, allowing application to create sockets, establish network connection, send uh, receive data uh, over the network and implement various network protocols. Next is the uh, user space libraries and APIs. Uh, in that, Linux-based operating system often provide user space libraries and APIs that abstract low-level kernel interfaces and provide higher-level abstraction for common tasks. For example, a GNU a C library, a GLIBC, uh, which provides standard C library function as well as higher-level libraries for graphics, multimedia, databases, and other domains. Uh, then next is the inter-process communication, that is IPC mechanism. Now, Linux supports various uh, mechanisms for uh, inter-process communication, including pipes, PIPO, that is name pipe, uh, then message queue, uh, shared memory, and sockets. This mechanism uh, allows uh, process to exchange data and synchronize their activities, uh, facilitating communication between different parts of an operating system or between different applications running on the system. Then next is the graphical user interface, uh, GUI utilities. Uh, Linux-based operating system supports graphical user interface through toolkits such as uh, GTK, GIMP toolkit, and QT. These toolkits provide APIs and libraries for creating graphical application which windows, with windows, weights, buttons, menus, dialogues, and other GUI elements enabling developers to build desktop application that interact with the underlying Linux system. So overall interfaces to Linux in operating system encompass a wide range of functionalities and abstraction, allowing software to interact with the Linux kernel, file system devices, network, and user interfaces in a flexible and centralized manner. These are the advantages of Linux. The main advantage of Linux is to open source operating system. Uh, in terms of security, Linux is more secure than other operating system. The software updates in Linux are easy and frequent. Various uh, Linux distributions are available so that you can use them according to your requirements or according to your test. Then Linux is freely available to use in the internet. It is large community, uh, community support. It provides higher stability. It maintains the uh, privacy of the user. The performance of the Linux system is much higher than other operating system. Then it, uh, it is network friendly. It is flexible of Linux is high. Uh, the flexibility of the Linux is high. The Linux is compatible with a large number of file formats. Uh, then, uh, it is fast and easy to install from the web, and it performs all tasks properly, even if there's uh, limited space on the hard disk. Thank you.